So, like I promised uh, on doing these thrift store or Goodwill haul videos where I find vintage toys, modern toys, and a little bit of both, uh, I went to Goodwill and I really didn't find anything. And I never find, like, I never leave Goodwill without something really good. So I decided to go to another thrift store, and this one's in a, eh, okay, okay, side of town, but, you know, on occasion I'll find something really cool. So I went in there thinking I wasn't going to find anything and just going to go to the thing next door to it, which has discount things, and I found a bag of ponies, you know, it was a Lala Oopsie Pony and a G3 My Little Pony named Denim. These were, this was very, very dirty, and I actually cleaned it and restored it, and the hair is now back to normal after brushing it with an American Girl brush. Uh, there was another pony, I gave it to a friend, which is just like a Barbie pony. It was 99 cents for the bag. Let's just say I lost my mind, but then it got better. Um, I went to look at the shelf, and this had a 99 cent sticker underneath, and this goes to the La 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 Loopsie Teenies. Now, I never knew they actually came out with a little house, but this is kind of like, I guess, their idea of, like, a Polly Pocket size house. It did not have any figures, but I had figures myself. So I had a cow uh, and two little girls, and they are super cute. Like, it's perfect, and I really love um, little houses that are, like, Polly Pocket style. So that was exciting. And then the next thing I found was this gigantic Hello Kitty. Like, it's uh, 16 to 17 inches tall. And it was also 99 cents. Like, the sticker was on the back of the... Like, no, 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 sorry. It was on the arm. And I was like, why am I finding everything for 99 cents there? It's awesome. Because I want the My Melody. It was, like, it was really, really dirty and I cleaned it up. Uh, Magic Eraser is amazing. That's also what I use for the pony. Um, it's missing the bow and something else, uh, if you guys can tell me what that is, but I know the bow goes there and I'm going to make one. Uh, I'm very happy with it, it's very adorable. And then I came across another bag that made me just about cry and lose my mind because I had these as a child. Uh, tea bunnies, these were from the 90s. Uh, I forgot, I think this was something pansies. And this is something tulips, but this is a, this is a, a dupe. I got two of the same one, but this one has a hat, and this one has a dress that goes to another one. Uh, this bag was also 99 cents, so yeah, that's another reason why I cried. I would have paid $2 for the bag. I already had this tea bunny, and that's an identical outfit, and I've had this one for about a year, and I'm trying to recollect things from my childhood that are really, really hard to find, so finding these made me very happy, I almost cried. And then my friend Michael, uh, brought me two things. This uh, lime green haired strawberry shortcake with like I forget what her name is but she's wearing a special edition strawberry shortcake outfit. Uh, I cleaned her up also. She was very dirty. Uh, she came from Goodwill. Uh, I also brushed her hair out so it looks a lot better than it did. And then she also gave me the daffodil I forgot if that's her actual name or whatever, but Rose Petal Place doll. She is super cute. Like the, she's only missing like a few things. She was super dirty as well. Magic Eraser also cleaned her up, so for this one spot, and I think I know how to get that off. Peroxide and Sun Soak. Uh, if you've ever heard of that, like soaking it in the sun. Um, her shoes and pantyhose are actually built on, like they're painted on. She is adorable. I love her daffodil headpiece. This is these are actually going to be like the vintage pieces are going to be featured in my nostalgia videos. Uh, this will be like 80s, and this will be my 90s video. I am also going to do videos on Polly Pockets and stuff. And also, I've had this thing for like a year. And if you guys know what this is, I have no idea. It's glow in the dark. I thought it was from Moon Dreamers, but I'm not really sure. Um, bottom of it says uh, Soma 1985 if you guys have ever heard of this it looks like precious moments but I don't think it is uh, the arms move and the head move and it's very pastel and adorable and I actually got this from my BJD's my ball jointed dolls but the thing is like I'm trying to like 
just collect pastel items too, kawaii items, and I need help figuring out what that is, so if you guys have any intel on it, let me know. Um, I am going to be doing a video on strawberry shortcakes soon. I'm just trying to get a few more things. I've only got two vintage strawberry shortcakes in that size, in one gigantic um, plush doll, and some reboot figures and dolls, and that's about it. I'm trying to work on getting more stuff. Uh, I also have cupcake dolls. I have two, and then I'm going to have a third one. I just have to go pick it up at my mom's house and some of my puffalumps from my childhood. Um, my crystal princess with a K. I've got to go get her dome from my mom's house. Uh, a lot of my stuff is like stuck at my mom's from moving and stuff. Uh, but um, I have a lot of vintage toys like I've done a few reviews on. I want to continue to do this and as I've told you guys in the update video, way more videos to come this summer guys. So enjoy. Uh, let me know if you've had some of these in your childhood or what you think. None of these items are going to be for sale. These are going to be in my personal collection in my kawaii room when I get it set up. But I like to share the love and if I find dupes other than these, I'm going to keep the dupes of these. Uh, if I find dupes of certain things, I can definitely sell them on eBay uh, to you guys. Just let me know if you're interested in anything and I can keep an eye out. But till next time guys, bye!